So in this video, I'll show you how to change lanes quickly and the things you shouldn't do during lane changes. Remember, in part one of the video, I talked about people who are able to change lanes quickly on high-speed roads, just like this guy. So how do they change lanes quickly? They do that because they are aware of their surroundings. Here's what they do. The most important step in lane changing is checking your rear view mirror because in the rear view mirror you can see the vehicles right behind you and in the adjacent lanes. Let's pretend that we want to go to the right lane. In this situation I'm able to see how many cars are behind me on the right hand side. Now I see that there's no car after this car so it would be safe for me to switch lanes after this car. Now, from the speed of these cars, you're probably able to tell that it won't be safe to cut off any of these cars. So, it is better to wait until these cars go by. Another thing you also want to know is what the cars just behind you are trying to do. With their signal, you will know their intentions. If they don't have any signal, so then you safely assume that they are not trying to switch lanes. So, the rear view mirror gives you 80% of the clarity and the remaining 20% you get from the side view mirror and the blind spot check. Look at this. I see that it's clear now and in 2 to 3 seconds, this black car is going to pass me. Here it is. Now that everything behind me looks very clear, I will quickly glance at the side view mirror just to make sure that there's no car beside me. Then, I'll do a quick blind spot check and change lanes safely. So this is how experienced drivers make quick decisions while changing lanes. So you can apply this trick and improve the way you change lanes. Now before I move on to point number two, let me show you how people change lanes in a busy traffic situation. When it is busy, the traffic is usually moving slow. Therefore, when you put the signal on, in most cases, the first or the second car behind you will let you in. This is called cooperative driving. The key point here is to keep your signal on because if people don't see your signal, they don't know what your intentions are and that is why they're not going to let you in. Now let me tell you what you shouldn't do during lane changes. Do not drive too close to a car. This will make it difficult for you to switch lanes quickly and you will either have to reverse or wait for the car in front of you to move forward. Always have at least one car length distance in a slow moving traffic and two to three car length distance in a fast moving traffic situation so that you're able to switch lanes quickly. Point number two, do not signal only for half a second just like this guy. A lot of people signal only for half a second and switch lanes. You can fail the road test for doing this. And moreover, what if the person behind you doesn't see your signal? They will never know what your intentions are and chances are that it could lead to a collision. So it's always good to leave the signal on until you're half into the other lane and then cancel the signal. Point number three, do not ever change lanes on curves. Let me show you what happens when you switch lanes on curves, especially during winters. So that's all about lane changing. If you like this video, then hit the like button. And here's a question for the contest. When do most road accidents take place? Do they take place in summer or in winter? Write the answer below in the comment box to win a $50 Amazon gift card. Conditions for the contest are mentioned in the description box below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again next Friday. Ciao.